Hi everybody, this is Johnny. Let's make a game together. For this game you will need some paper, something to write with, you'll need some coins, some kind of counters, a dice, and uh, oh, and maybe a bear. Let's put some things aside for now, and let's make our game board. For this game board, we want to look along the top Near the very top, put a dot near the middle, and then one about halfway between there and one edge, and the same on the other side. Let's go down to the bottom, not at the very bottom, just a little ways up. A dot, halfway again, and another halfway. Now we're going to make a rectangle. Let's join these two dots. And these two. and across the top and across the bottom. Now we want to divide this into thirds. So I'm going to think about maybe about right here drawing a line coming down and then about halfway between here and here starting another line. And look I have those look like good thirds. Let's do it the other way as well. About right here and right here. Those are okay. Now we have a grid, a 3x3 three three grid. Let's make it more interesting. Let's put two circles over here. A line and let's see what we can make over here. Alright, that looks good. And over here, let's put the name of our game. This game is called Number six. Let's make it a big sign. So this is the building we're in, number six. We need some more things. Maybe some hills behind. And what else do we need? Oh, we need something over here. Let's see. Let's go up. I wonder what this is. Oh, I see what it is. And maybe some of these. And don't forget this. Can't forget that part. What else do we need? Oh, maybe some mountains. A little bit of snow on both sides. And one last thing, over here as well. Okay, and this is our game board for the game called Number Six. Now we need some players. Today, Tom is playing, and so is Jules. And we need some playing pieces and our dice. So here are the rules of the game. We like the number six. We want to put six in these boxes here. And what we want to do is make a six, another six, and another six in a row like tic-tac-toe. Could be like this, could be diagonally or horizontally. We'll take turns rolling the dice. Tom will take a turn, then Jules will take a turn. And we'll put coins out to represent the numbers filling the boxes. Now the important thing is whatever is rolled has to be played all the way. So four is if four is rolled, then four coins have to be put out on the board, and they cannot be spilled over into any other box. Let's play to see how it works. Tom will start. Tom rolls a two. Tom decides to take two coins and put them up in this corner here. Remember, the limit is six. Jules takes a turn. Jules rolls a four, and Jules decides to put four in the opposite corner. There's still room for two more coins in this box. Tom's turn. Tom rolls a four as well. Tom decides that four can be in this corner up here to make the six. Tom could not play the four over here because there's not enough room. But now this box is full of six. Okay, And if this one is full of six, 
and this is full of six, then there will be three in a row for whoever wins that. It's Jules' turn. Jules rolls a three, cannot place them there. So Jules takes the coins and puts them in the very middle. Tom's turn. Tom rolls a six, and Tom's roll will fill one of these boxes. Tom decides to put six coins down here. Looks like I need one more. So two, four, six coins all together. Jules' turn. Jules rolls a five, and you can see Jules cannot put five in this corner or there, but these other empty boxes can have five. So Jules decides to put five coins down in this box here. Tom's turn. Tom rolls a four, and four can only go in an empty box right now. So Tom decides to put four coins right here. Now that's a dangerous move because if Jules rolls what number? If Jules rolls a certain number, she might get three in a row. Jules rolls a four, and the four can only go in an empty box. So Jules goes ahead and fills this box here. Maybe three in a row will happen over here, but we need two, and two, and one more here. Tom's turn. Tom rolls a six, and there's no place to put six except in an empty box right now. So Tom decides to put six right up here. Do you see why that's a dangerous move? What does Jules need to roll in order to be the winner? So, if I'm looking at the game board right now, there's six in this box, six in this box, four over here, six here, six here, and four there. What might happen? It's Jules' turn. Jules rolls a four, and there's only one place for the four to go, and that's this empty box here. Now, what will happen now is that if the numbers are big numbers, there's no place else to put coins, and when that happens, the player loses the turn. Okay, So now it's Tom's turn, and Tom rolls a two. Where's Tom going to put this two? Tom decides to put this two right here. And if you look, there's six here, six here, and six here. So Tom is the winner. So this is the game number six, and for this game you need some paper, something to write with, some playing pieces, some dice, some friends, and, um, oh, a bear. Hope you enjoy this game.